in Ethiopia, at, in the beginning, we calculated there would be 2,500 kids with, uh, with hydrocephalus, which is a lot in the United States, three times, three and a half times the population. There is a, uh, uh, there are about a, t- a thousand children. So it was extraordinary. Mm-hmm. And uh, they also, when I went to see the minister uh, of, of health about this, um, uh, he says, uh, uh, they, they referred me to, to the department of, uh, uh, what do you call it, mental retardation. And, uh, and I thought, hmm. And then I realized that the, the, the kids that survive are mentally retarded. So they, they don't have treatment options, so they're immediately going to that point. No, 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 it didn't happen that way. Uh, They backed into that point. Okay. The, uh, uh, there was no treatment and spina bifida is a, is an open back and that happens right, that's visible right when you're born. So those kids never even made it on the scene. Uh, And the hydrocephalus kids get worse over time and eventually the mother uh, gets some, some help somewhere. Uh, but there was no help in Ethiopia, and uh, 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 so so they they either died or they became mentally retarded, and that's why they, why they were categorized that way. Did I answer your question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so then so then how did you go from that to the reach another foundation? You know, from from recognizing the problem and, and starting with that to where you stand today, you know, how did that come about? Well, uh, this has always been uh, uh, something I wanted to do. That's that's number one. So okay. I I had to drive to uh, work in the tropic and to help. The second thing is that I had a vision. That be I realized that for Ethiopia to uh, to grow and do better, a lot of outside help was necessary. Yep. And my brother and I uh, uh, felt that we were in a position to actually bring significant skills. We could train people and and move the ball forward. And so, uh, in in two thousand nine, um, Patricia and I went back. My wife, Patricia. Yeah. And I went back to Ethiopia for three months and then another time for two months. And then at the end of that year, uh, we decided to form the Reach Another Foundation. Okay. And so we set out to do more than just go there by ourselves. My goal was to, to recruit all my friends to come with me to Ethiopia. And in fact, um, if, you, if you think about impact, uh, we have taken over 150 uh, people from Central Oregon with us to Ethiopia. Wow! And all of those, all of those have had uh, uh, have had a life changing experience, and all of those come back and uh, uh, when they uh, th- their life is just different. They tell me that if you go to Africa and you see what we are doing, then you can never, you can never. Um, uh, just keep on doing what you've been doing in Ethiopia. You know, pe- people say things like, "Gosh, you know, I I knew that uh, I knew that Guatemala was poor, yep. uh, but Ethiopia is beyond description." And mm-hmm. uh, uh, and so they one of them bought a little electric car and uh, moved into a smaller house and uh, uh, and uh, and just completely changed their lifestyle. Uh, but everybody, I think, that goes there has a new appreciation for for what we have in Central Oregon. Uh, and also, uh, they feel a need to contribute and be, be world citizens. Well, that's amazing how your vision here has has had a multiplier effect even here locally. You know, well, it will, all the way through to Ethiopia and affect change of that scale across the world. But I think what's interesting is also just kind of the multiplier effect here locally. Yeah, people don't realize it. You know, when I when I go and ask people for help, then uh, they're always very friendly and very helpful. But uh, sort of the the regular 
um, the regular answer to requests from us is, well, you know, you work in Ethiopia, you're not local. Sure. And so it, it, what we just talked about to me is what makes an effort elsewhere a local thing. Yeah. 